sorry, make sure in your response to the metaphor of the OI, you, you give examples of how that metaphor relates to working in a group, right? So we're going to be engaging in extremely high levels of collaboration today. So just, just make sure you use some of these things like the Awai or the Lo'i as symbols, metaphors to what you will be doing, okay? Josh, we're in uh, week two, grassroots partnership project discussion on the OA. You probably have to watch this video before you answer the question. Okay, how's it going? You guys done? No? One more minute?
So when you're done, make sure you go back and you respond to two other people. Make sure you extend the conversation. Hayden, that's a really good response, mahalo. Ooh. Alicia, you also added an, an another metaphor on top of the OY metaphor, which is really cool. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna move move on in just a bit. Please submit your responses. Good job, Caleb. Okay, don't forget to respond to two people. So again, um, you'll receive the majority of your points for your response, but in order to get all of the points, the 10 out of 10, make sure that you respond to two people. Can, yeah? Okay, very good. Kalahi Kiola, you almost done? Yeah. Okay. Kahalalani, how many more minutes do you need? Like two. Are you almost done? Two minutes. All right. So make sure when you're thinking about the OI and the video and then what it covered with the um, Kanako EV methodologies, make sure you kind of combine all of that and then just think about how does the OI make us become better at working in a group? All right, as um, the other people finish their responses, we can, the rest of us can move on to the next part in our module. 
So we're going to be starting a Jamboard design thinking uh, discussion, and this is going to help us with um, presenting our ideas to the group. And then as a group, you're going to figure out what does your group want to complete. Got it? Everybody clear on what our next step is now that we have this framework of the OA. So um, as you guys think about working collaboratively in this step of, of the class, um, just a couple things before you start. Um, you're going to be working on the Jamboard. Um, below the picture um, are several community organizations you guys can look through. And then also the connections to Na'akua and historical Hawaiian figures. So we wanna also incorporate that into our project proposals. I'm gonna tell you guys right now that um, I have to adjust the timeline for this project because um, I have actually assigned you a tremendous amount of work, okay? But if you guys work together, like the components of the Hawaii, you guys will be able to complete this task together. So just know that you're gonna be meeting tomorrow during cohort B with your groups. And then if you need me to join in to help you guys along, you're gonna do that. Everybody clear? Okay, so like all the components of the OI, you guys gotta show up for each other, okay? So um, let's go ahead and whoever is student number one, go ahead and make the copy of the Jamboard and then um, go ahead and give your, give access to your classmates as well as me and then post it in uh, the chat so that I have access to it. Ken? Okay, so go ahead and do that. Alyssa, I don't have access to it. I like how he spoke to you through Zoom and he's right behind you. These are weird times. <laughs> Okay, how's it going? We good? Okay, so um, as you get into your Jamboard, okay, go ahead and you guys can start by um, 
in on this on the first slide go ahead and add your names to the slide so student one you're going to be submitting uh this assignment to canvas and then i'll make sure everybody gets points for this everybody good okay so um go ahead and change out student one and student two and student three with your names Who is student one for the other group? Is that Caleb or Kahele? It's me. Okay. You know what to do, Kahele, Alani? Stop drawing, okay? And then let's start plugging in. So go ahead and use the same color sticky note as your name and go ahead and type in your brainstorm, your ideas, right? So you're gonna be adding your, your brainstorm of needs that you have identified in the community. You're gonna inform, um, you're gonna add the information you gathered and then also the insights from your interview. Kahele Aulani, can you give me access and then post the link into the chat so I can see? Hayden, um, I sent you a message, okay? Thank you. Um, A L Kaba two at KSBE dot edu.
Okay, how are we doing? You guys, you guys adding on post-it notes to your, oh my gosh, somebody just lit a firework just now. What the heck? So Josh, you uh, adding on to your um, post-it notes here? Needs of the community. Some of the things that you talked about with your your person, right? I think you're gonna talk to your grandparents. Okay. Um, some of you, both of your, both of these groups, you guys forgot to add in your name. So I don't know if we've, you've had time to talk about your name. Okay, so make sure you get your name, that you know of your hui is really important. Okay, very good. So as you guys um, work on your brainstorm, okay, you're going to um, share out your brainstorm and you're going to be listening, okay? So if you guys look at slide one, I'm going through the directions actually. So the first one is the hui brainstorm, right? You're gonna be adding your, your, your post-it notes and then the information that you've collected the second step to this is you're going to be empathizing with each other by listening to each members of your team. And you're just going to take notes. So you're going to use the post-it notes. Thanks, Alicia. We're going to use the pink post-it notes to ask questions to members of your, of your group. So um, for Alicia's group, you might want to choose a different color since she claimed it as pink as her post-it notes, okay? Um, you're gonna use post-it notes and, and paste it on your classmates um, share out so that you can ask questions to really figure out what it is that your classmates are um, wanting to do, okay? Just real quick, if you guys go to your second slide, everybody go to the second slide, you're going to be combining the ideas to come up with um, an idea for your hui, right? So what is it that your grassroots group would like to do? So I'm gonna give you an example before we start so that I don't have to repeat it twice. Okay, so um, in the community I live in, very interesting. I received this like notice in my mailbox that said, um, our entire street was going to have a, um, a garage sale. So if you wanna partake in a garage sale, go ahead. And, and so our whole um, street, whatever you wanted to um, get rid of or sell, we just had to sign up and then put a yellow balloon outside our house. And then people could come and look at the stuff that we had. Why? Because you guys know how we, um, we love to buy new things, right? Um, and then sometimes we have things that we're not even using, so we just throw it away. Well, I, um, somebody in our community organized monthly, um, monthly garage sales so that we could um, exchange, barter, buy things that maybe we would have thrown away and then maybe somebody down the road might have needed, right? So what does that do? It reduces the waste in our landfills. It also builds community, you guys. And when you build community, a number of things happen, right? People don't feel so isolated, especially due, due to the pandemic. People feel more like they belong to a community. So maybe they'll think twice of maybe even um, littering in our community. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, I thought that was a great idea. Um, do, do all of our family members keep more things that they don't use? Absolutely. 
how do we get rid of it, right? It's like, mom, dad, can we just get rid of this stuff over here? You know, this pile of stuff, right? Or all of us have way too many clothes, right? That we don't need. That maybe the, the little kid down the road might need, right? So I thought that was a great idea, okay? So anyway, um, I think we're ready to share out in your small group. So I'm gonna open up your breakout room so you can talk stories with each other. And then I want you guys to figure out what it is you're going to com combine your ideas to do, okay? Remember, you're pretending to be part of this grassroots partnership project, so bring your best ideas forward. You guys ready? Okay, so make sure the rest of you guys listening, you guys ask questions with the pink post-it notes. Yes. And by the way, the big Brits crackers are way better. Oh, I might like those. All right, thanks for not sharing with us. Okay, go to your rooms. Okay, whoever is um, student one, go ahead and share out first. We don't have very much time to do this. So let's get started, please. Um, I put uh, some needs are uh, better managing the homelessness problem as well as uh, the trash problem on our islands. I put the problem of like having the amount of homeless people and the amount of trash on the island and depending on tourism in our economy. I put um, food sustainability and maintaining national parks and trails. Okay, go ahead and ask a couple questions with the pink post-it notes for each of your classmates. Okay, once you're done responding to your um, classmates, move on to slide two and come up with something. So look at what overlapping ideas you have and now come, I want you guys to combine it to see what it is that you guys could all work on together. Can? Questions before I go to the other class, the other room? Got it? Okay, so this is the what you're gonna do about it now. Okay, come on, can do. We're supposed to write down our ideas. What do you mean? Of... On the post-it notes, we already did that. No, now you're supposed you to them. ask questions. Oh, oh yes. He had, yeah. to take, he had to take a wee-wee, he said, so. Who? What are we talking he about? Is. Oh, gosh. Okay. He's so, 
Just go ahead. Maybe you guys use the yellow post-it notes because yeah, I, oh, I, I see you look at you. Okay, so use your yellow post-it notes and ask a question for each of your classmates so that at least you guys can understand it a little bit more. Okay, once you're done with that and um, your classmates talk about or clarify things, then move on to slide two. Okay, so do you see any overlapping ideas right now? Water. Water. Ooh, Water. very good. Water. Ooh, nice. The line isn't straight, but it's messing with me. Okay. Okay, you should be asking questions, yeah? Are you guys done asking your questions? Okay. Right, so as you guys know, what we do on the land, we do to the water. Okay, so think about now, how do you move, move on to seeing yourself as a hui, what is something, what kind of plan of action can you guys propose that would change the course of this, right? So we know, I mean, holy smokes, did you guys see, Hayden, did you see the waves yesterday? Huge. I was coming from Honokawa yesterday. It was, yeah. So much energy in the ocean. Somebody asked me, Kumecha very asked me if I went paddling I was like heck no um one of my friends um went and boogie boarded at Browns holy smokes he said over 15 foot waves we went over there by Puhi Bay you can see brown I mean it was huge we had to back up because the water was going all the way up onto the um grass it was crazy anyway 
um, what do we know about that? Pretty sure in the Bay, there's all kinds of rubbish that got churned up, right? All kinds of stuff, so dirty. Anyway, figure out what you can do about the idea of water, right? Okay, what is it that you could do as a group? Okay, all right. So go to slide number two and brainstorm that idea and make it happen. Looks like you guys asked questions. You guys on slide two. Okay, so what was your guys, um, I don't know. What did you see as overlapping for your, your topic? So we all kind of talked about like the trash and that kind of stuff. So we decided to put those two together, uh, the trash problem and what Josh was talking about with the parks. So we decided to talk about the problem of like the trash in the parks and stuff. Okay, cool. How cool would it be to start a grassroots project of, of teenagers? Yeah. To what, right? Do we just wait for the county to clean up? I don't know. I don't think so. Right. Um, could you guys use your little hui to also make proposals for each um, park, maybe, right? Okay, so let's go ahead um, on this uh, second slide with your combined, combining ideas. Now, what is the action you guys want to do, right? So I, I would open up your goals, um, your uh, planning document and go to week two. Okay, so everybody should open that up and start nailing down um, something you wanna do, okay? as an agreed upon mission and then look for the goals. What is it that you wanna do? Can? Okay, very good. I like that. You guys could do some really cool things, you know? And then how do you grow your hui? That's another cool part that you're gonna try to figure out, okay? All righty, love it. Good job, you guys. Huh? Didn't you do the research? On what reforestation? Oh, you said talking about the clean water supply. Oh, I didn't do that. The last time I did reforestation or something like that. That's what I did. What was that? Oh. <laughs> so right. how are we supposed to? What? Never mind. No, no. How are we supposed to what? Connect the ideas. Okay. Kalal's idea with her idea. If we don't know okay. what she's talking about oh that was the drinking water supply is that what you're talking about huh what are you talking about with the clean water supply is that for like drinking oh, okay huh when i ask i don't know don't you ask me a question Okay, so number, it, you have a question right there. It says, is this in Hawaii? I hear Hawaii has clean, really clean drinking water. Yeah, I think that's correct. So what are you talking about here? Clean water supply for what? For drinking or for what in general? I don't know, I'm kind of just listing ideas. I didn't really get to that one. Oh, well, think it through. What do you think? Oh, I think we can, like, it's a really easy to be connectable ideas, you know, water pollution, clean water supply, it's like the same thing. So let's talk right. about how, you know, clean, the marine life means clean water supply. And without the marine life, then that affects our sustainability as people. Love it. So, okay, so why don't you guys get your planning document up and running so we can start working on that? That'd be great. Okay, so let's get to week two. 
like how it was designed week two, and then go ahead and nail down a mission, right? Okay, nail down a mission. Figure out what is it that you guys want to um, do with your hui, right? So it sounds like you guys are really care about clean water, right? For, for all different reasons. So what is it that your group would like to do? Okay, so talk about that, fill in um, your ideas. You also might want to start looking at the akua that will be related to that. So you got to go back into your canvas and then at the bottom, you can click on the links to um, the different akua that you guys can connect it to. And this is going to help you to create your, your hui's emblem, right? And then also um, you're going to be adding it to your outline proposal. Okay, so that is going to be due this week, the outline proposal, not the drafting of it because we that's just too much for you guys to do in one week, okay? So I'm gonna add one more week to this thing. Okay, and then somebody also needs to find a historic Hawaiian figure or two that, that really focused on environment, right? Because when you build a, pre, uh, a proposal, you also wanna say, you know, this started back with who, right? Okay, so make sure you go through that. Everybody clear on what we're doing at this point? Okay, work together. Alicia, who are you looking at? What is that? I need to charge my laptop, but there's okay. no place to plug it in where I can still sit down. It's either the floor or my laptop dies. <laughs> mm. Okay, hurry up and figure that out then. Find some place. You're not contributing to the kahawai. Get throwing mud into the Kahawai. Color. Okay. Kumu. Yes. Me too. What is the worlds and Kuliana proposal thing? How do you so, do that? So that would just be like you guys saying, okay, I, I, I'm really good at writing. I'll do the writing part. Okay. But you guys are all going to be contributing yeah, to plugging in for the outline. So the outline is going to be done um, is due this week. Okay. I got to extend this project one whole week because of the writing and the com compiling of information. Okay, so just know that. But the more you get done in the outline, the less you can you have to do later on too, right? So as you guys look at the outline, okay, Josh, you on the outline. Okay, you're going to be um, really figuring out who's doing what. So I don't know. Unless you guys want to all take a paragraph and do it that way, that might work as well. So it depends on how you guys want to um, do this, okay? So this is part of um, the project is that you got to figure out how you're going to complete these tasks as a group. Yeah, so you guys individually got to step in and say, okay, I'm going to do this, right? Okay, I'm good at making PowerPoints. I'll, I'll try and get the PowerPoint. But then that doesn't mean that Oh, you do that, I do this, right? It means that you guys are all working collaboratively, okay? What else? Questions? Okay, let me, let me take a look at you guys. It looks like you guys need to come up with a name for your hui. Yeah. So that's where also um, on slide three, you got to figure out, okay, what akua is related to 
um, your topic, okay? And then also what are, who are some of the historical figures that have all already started the work of this? Make sense? Okay, so you guys should communicate who's doing what. Yeah, that would really help. So that's the other thing, right? You're going to, if you look at the, um, your presentation slide, the first slide of your presentation is going to have your emblem and your name of your hui. So you got to come up with, um, you know, a symbol for your group. So who can draw? Caleb's like, don't look at me. Okay. What about you, Josh? Can you draw? No. What about um what about like even um what is that called? Like, can't you draw online, like a digitally? Okay, hello, Lani. Can't you design something on Photoshop? No. You guys. Okay, then you're gonna have to come up with something really simple. Like for example, um, the equal sign is used as like, you know, civil rights, right? Um, so maybe you have to come up with something super simple, okay? Maybe like an arrow and you have words in the arrow. Does that make sense? Like come up with some kind of design. Um, those listed kuleana is not the only jobs, right? So make sure those are just examples of what you have to do okay so raise your hand if you're comfortable writing oh good all of you guys raise your hands wonderful yes okay so maybe you all just take um a paragraph make sense so you gotta look though you gotta look real good okay okay or somebody take the beginning right, the introduction paragraph and the end paragraph, the conclusion paragraph, and then the two of you guys take the, the two middle paragraphs or something, okay? But plug in all together though. You're going to have to meet tomorrow, okay, during um, block three, cohort B, okay? So make sure you make that commitment to your kahavai. Okay, I'm going to go to the other room. Okay, how's it going with your um slow? Why? Slow but great. You're on your planning Wonderful. document too? Yeah. No. I'm the only one. Oh wait, no, Claw's on here. You are not the You're only, the only one. one. You are not the only one. I see Claw on here. I'm on here. Okay. It looks like you guys need here. to come up with an Inoa for your hui. Um, gotta come up with you wanna tell her yours? Oh, well, you guys laughed at me. Okay. You guys also come up with an emblem, yeah? An emblem. Hello, did you interview your grandma? No, she's supposed to come over sometime this week. Cook. So, yeah. Um. Uh, this class, this this group, what happened to your guys' um, questions, your interview? Imagine, imagine how terrifying the fire would be. What is that? No, <laughs> be quiet. He's not even on class. Is he? What is he doing? Is that a student? Yes, it's no hell. He's like, like, uh... He's sitting right next to me. Oh, I have no idea who that is. Okay, so um woo, you guys you guys it, you, it's important to talk to um somebody in your ohana yeah that's part of the how is to gain some knowledge from the people that have lived multiple more years than you 
Okay. That's the point of this. Okay. So let's look. We're on week two. So what was the outcome of your dis discussion? Your your finalized mission? What you doing? Oh, well, you know we want to do something on one beach about cleaning up to clean the water to protect the marine life. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and type that in there for outcome of discussion. It's at the very top of week two. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, and then the goals, what are the some of the goals of your hui? Okay. Mm. So you guys gonna have to meet, yeah, tomorrow during cohort B at 11.40. You guys also have IXL to complete, so you can complete okay. that tonight. Okay, but by the end of cohort B, it should be done. Okay, because we're we're trying to spread things out. If you need more time because you gotta go back and meet um, in your groups, then use Friday. Okay, what are we doing? We're practicing adulting, right? Show yeah. up. I know. Trust me. Try make your own appointments for the doctors. Not fun. Among other oh. things, like paying. My dad, me, my dad makes me sign myself in, and I don't like it. It's mm. weird. Yeah, adulting. You enjoy being children. Okay. Now, um, you guys need to work on this. What is the goals of your project? Protect the ecosystem. Okay. Explain the significance. So you guys should be really filling in um, all of these things. Rose and Kuliana, um, if you guys look at that box, you're going to need to um, write your names down. So student one, two, and three. Um, you guys are going to be, somebody who is really good at writing should take on that Kuliana, but that doesn't mean that the person writing is going to just do all the writing, okay? Um, you guys are going to help give feedback. So everybody should be plugging into the outline that's below. Okay, um, you guys also need to plug in um, things like the tech designer. So who's going to work on the, um, the, uh, the formatting? Can I do the emblem? <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. Um, of the, you wanna format your PowerPoint presentation so that it makes sense and that it's pretty, right? The artwork, artwork and the design or whatever, you're gonna create the emblem, right? So that's why you have to research Akua and um, historical figures because that's how you're gonna create your emblem. Makes sense, right? Okay, so make sure you guys all research that. And that is real easy to do because I gave you the links already, okay? If, you're gonna, if you need me tomorrow, I'll be around. You just gotta email me and give me the Zoom link. Can, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to um, close out the breakout rooms and then you guys will have the rest of the period to work on things, okay? Which is like 10 minutes, so it's really not a big deal, but you need to meet tomorrow, okay? So let me just close the breakout rooms and so I can. Make sure you guys are all on the same page. Okay, you guys. Where Josh? There. Where Alicia? There. Okay. So. When I look at this. Okay, go back into the modules. I'm gonna be pointing out a couple of things. Where Josh went? He left. Is he here? Holy smokes, he left. Who is Josh's group? Caleb and Kahaleolani. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna share my screen with you guys real fast. Okay, so 
Um, I need you guys to notice, yeah, certain things have due dates, yeah? Why? I set the due dates so that you guys don't procrastinate. So Sunday, you guys are scrambles, okay? You don't need no scramble eggs. Oh, there he is, yay. Okay, so what we have is the planning document. I wanna go back to the planning document because you need to add something to it. So here it is. So when you look at the proposal outline, can you guys add this to it and then fix? Go to the motivation part. So this is the big why of your proposal, right? So under motivation is what, how, how is the problem? Can you change it to what is the problem? What is the problem? How did it start? You're gonna add facts and explanations. So you're gonna add details as well. So like you can say like back in 1843, um, I don't know, I think it was 1843, Kauikeuli um, established the great Mahele for blah, 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 or something like that, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna have details, historical figure, historical Hawaiian figure, okay? And then over here, under B, you're gonna have your connection to the Hawaiian Akua so that you have at least some reference to cultural practices, right? It's cultural understanding. Everybody clear on that? Okay, so my suggestion to you guys, because this group is a pretty good writing group. I would have, since there's three of you per group, one person take the intro and the conclusion and the references, so the works cited page, and then the others take the second body paragraph of motivation and the third body paragraph of um, the grassroots project details is done by somebody else. The one thing that you're gonna have to do is work together to plug in this outline tomorrow. The outline is due this week, okay, before I see you guys next week. Everybody clear on that? Okay, you might need to meet on your own on Friday, okay? Keep me in the loop. Anytime you email each other, email me as well so that I can provide feedback, okay? Or help you guys out in any other way. Can? Okay, the other thing is that I'm gonna be, a, um, oh, can you guys go into your scheduled meeting for Hui? Go ahead and add in tomorrow's date, with it, which is January 12th. Okay, and then everybody should be writing in what they need to do. Okay, so let's go ahead, take the time right now to type in what are the things that um, you need to complete. Anybody have questions about what they need to complete? Okay. Josh, I thought we lost you. You got booted off the internet? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. When do you go back to school? Next week. Yeah. Well, look, three of your classmates, well, two other classmates are at school. So maybe you could see them in real life. Okay, you guys good? It looks like um, some of you guys need to finish your interviews. Okay, make sure that happens. Okay, because that's part of the Kanako Eevee methodologies of Mo'oku Ohau. Okay, everybody good? Questions on what you're doing this week. Figure out what you're going to be doing in your hui's as far as the action plan. Okay, what can we do to make our communities better? Okay, start looking up um, and designing the emblem also. Okay, so whoever has that kuleana, we have one group. Uh, I think it's Caleb's group. They don't draw. Okay, so Alicia, if you draw, awesome. They don't draw. So I'm like, well, you better figure out some kind of simple emblem that maybe you could put a couple words in there, right? So um, 
Somebody could do that. I don't know who's doing that, but make sure you do it, okay? Um, I excel 30 minutes, choose two skills, work on it for 15 minutes for one skill, one of it for the other skill, okay? And that's cohort B, everybody clear? All I'm gonna do is look after your cohort B and then assign, just give you points for completion. Okay, so make sure you finish that during cohort B. Everybody know that? Did you write it down? Cohort B, I excel. Okay, again, this, I, I want for you guys so badly to be able to become independent learners. And this is one of those units that I'm pushing you guys really hard to really become responsible Okay, and to um, work together in your OIs. Okay, all right. Email me if you need help tomorrow and then I'll meet with you. So somebody got to create the Zoom, okay? Not me, you, okay? So I don't know if it's gonna be student three do that, does that, okay? Um, let me see before um, we leave. I just want to hold um, Caleb and Kahele Aulani um, just for a moment. Okay. Okay. The rest of you, I'll see you guys. Thank you. Take care. Have a good week. Josh, you there? You still there? Okay, good. So this group, yeah, I'm depending on you guys to all pull your own weight, okay? I'm meeting with you guys specifically because not only one person does all the work, okay? You guys need to let me know if, if you feel like you're doing all the work and you're not getting much help, okay? Um, but before you do that, I would hope that you would try and work things out on your own. Got it? That's part of being on a team, right? Being a teammate, right? You cannot full court press if only you full court pressing, if you know what I mean, right? You cannot like play baseball and be on defense if only one of you guys, you know, <laughs> trying to catch the ball, <laughs> okay? I don't know what metaphor to give you. Okay, but you guys get what I'm saying, okay? Can, okay? Depending on you guys to pull your own weight, okay? All right, thank you guys, bye.